came out of the toilet, everybody on the plane must have smelt it. It must have been seeping out of the door. They was just looking. I had the dookie, you hear me? That dude with the skin off of it, so it just exploded all over the place. Black I went out for that, I swear some ghosts flew out my ass. I thought that was Luther Van Draw. I'm like, what? Are you sick or something? You sure you not sick? It smelled like everything died up in there. What's wrong with you? Why you didn't crap at the airport? All them toilets at the airport, why you wait till you get on the plane and crap like that? Are you mad at somebody on the plane? I swear, what's wrong with you? Are you a terrorist or something? You ain't had to open up the door on the plane. You ain't supposed to do that at 30,000 feet. Oxygen mask came down and everything. You killed this lady baby up here. You was thinking past it. You had to fart, get some fresh air in here and everything. Finally, the pilot come over the intercom and said, attention and getting coach. We know this is a non-smoking flight, but you welcome to light up now. <laughs> marijuana, crack, cocaine, whatever your ass got. Smoke them if you got them. I want to get straight to the point. What is going on with the airports? Is everybody having a problem at the airports? Make some noise. Ever since September 11 happened, we just catching H-E-L-L. -L. I get to the airport and I got to go through all kind of problems. Ma'am, take your shoes off. Okay. I take my shoes off. Ma'am, take your jewelry off. Okay, I take my jewelry off. Ma'am, take your bra off. You see the size of these things? You sure you want me to take my bra off? Get up, come here. Come here. I'm fast in my bra, boy. And this woman better not say nothing. Go, go up under there. Go up. I... Now that my bra is unfastened, I'm gonna take it on off. Just got back in town. I was so proud, man. I was on a 747 flying back from Cleveland. 747 flight, man. Black pilot got on the plane, man. I felt, I just felt proud. I looked at the white people, I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> brother walked into the cockpit, I was like, yeah, brother flying the plane. Then another black guy walked on, I said, wait, man, I don't need to be that proud. I don't need to be that proud. <laughs> Somebody white got to help fly. <laughs> Somebody white got to help him. I mean, I'm proud, but we don't need two black people in the, on a plane this big, baby. A Magic Mountain ride, but not a 747. And then a white pilot came on because he was just talking to his partner. He left. White pilot went to the cockpit. Everybody looked at me and said the same thing. Woo! 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 Because even though we can fly, we just, black people just get scared quick. We get scared quick. All of a sudden, you up on the plane, you hit up, they come right on the intercom. Uh, I don't know who had the plane last, but we out of gas. So uh, we got to collect $5 from everybody. We going down. It's up to y'all. You can give us $5 each and we gonna go down. It's on y'all, it's on y'all. Do you know these idiots had me standing in the airport for five damn hours thinking I had a grenade in my pocket? Guess what I had? They thought this was a grenade. The United States is in trouble. When he held this up and said, ma'am, I'm sorry, we thought you had a grenade, and this is what he pulled out. I just said, oh, say, can you see by the dawn, say, 